2018 Toyota Tundra. Today we're gonna do gas analyzer. Uh, I showed one other video with my other gas analyzer when I was doing an older vehicle. Uh, this is the other analyzer I use for the 1234YF. I had somebody who watches my videos who lives locally, one of the mechanics, ask me, hey, you didn't do any uh, videos just on gas analyzer. So here's our video of the day just for gas analyzing. I'm about to redo a recovery, but right now we'll just focus on this. So I don't think you need me to show you how to use a fitting and connect it to a low side video. You probably watched a hundred other videos doing that. So we'll skip that part turn on and it goes through like a 60 second warm up. We'll skip the 60 second warm up. That's a waste of time. Uh, it will have to do a 60 second calibration. So here we are, 2018 Tundra. This is the new refrigerant. Select refrigerant, refrigerant selected. Connect hose to device, connected, calibrate. Hit the calibration button, calibrate. So we got a 30 second calibration. This is much faster than the old units used to be from 20 plus years ago. When these first came out on the old model, um, it takes several minutes to do this, to form this for future. Now it's much faster. But yeah, you're almost paying $3,000 for a refrigerant I identified for 3,000 bucks or almost after tax. It better be faster. Connect hose to source, open valve. Okay. Open valve. <sighs> okay, that's the one that takes 60 seconds. The 30 second one I forgot was for draining out the sample. Or the hose to purge it of all gas. The 60 second one is actually doing the sample because you leave it not connected to source first. And what it does, it goes through a pump down to remove air out of the tube or any other gas that might possibly contaminate your readings. And then it has you connect and screw down. To, now it's taking the gas sample. While I'm doing this video, I'm trying to do three cars at one time. So I gotta get moving. It's been raining here and every shop is filled with front-end accidents at all the body shops. This is like watching grass grow. Okay, there we go. 100% R1234. And as you will notice, even factory vehicles don't do a good job at getting all the air out. Uh, this is unusually high for a factory vehicle. They're usually about 1.7. Um, and that tells you, even the manufacturers don't always fill up vehicles correctly. I get many vehicles that are only one month old or less right out of, and I do a recovery. It was in a little fender bender and often fine. Sometimes they're one, two or three ounces short on refrigerant from what their sticker says. So. Don't always trust the manufacturer OEMs are doing it right either. That's it for today. An e easy um, identifying. And later I'll do a full complete video on all the steps to properly do a proper modern day by the EPA rules recovery. That's it for now. Catch you guys later.